Hi, good morning. I've just come out of the shower. Um, I'm gonna do my skincare routine. My skin feels kind of dry because I did like a proper full on exfoliating face wash. Um, but yeah, hi, thanks for clicking on another video. Um, I'm wearing my toweling robe, by the way, which I will link in the description, because it's so good. You don't need to use a towel, you just put on the robe and I can just be drying off while I do my skincare, so highly recommend. First things first, just gonna take some vitamin D, which I will also link in the description. In today's video, I wanted to tell you about one of the most life-changing things that I have learned recently. And um, this is just some hyaluronic acid serum. Um, this isn't a skincare video, by the way, I just thought I'd film while doing my skincare. Yeah, I wanted to tell you about a quote saying that has changed my life which i heard a few months ago and honestly just insane it is just insane um when you like deep it and start to apply it so the quote is and i feel really bad because i can't remember who said it it was some ceo lady on some podcast um but she basically said one of the most important rules that she follows is to never say no to yourself let's debunk that debunk wrong word let's break that down <laughs> we say no to ourselves a lot all the time especially if you're a woman watching this like women tend to say no to themselves all of the time what does it mean when you say no to yourself it's when you think about doing something or think about asking for something maybe applying for a job but then you tell yourself oh you would never get that job anyway oh i would never get that job or i would never be able to do that oh he's just gonna say no she's just gonna say no and what you've done there is that you've taken away the decision from the person who actually makes the decision and you've made it yourself. You've said, they're going to say no anyway. And so you've just said no to yourself. Now, I've written down points because I didn't want to miss anything out. I'm just going to let that absorb. Number one, why are you telling yourself no? Like, why are you telling yourself no? When there's a job that you were going to apply for, why have you just told yourself no? Did you want to not get the job? Is that what you wanted? Did you want it to be a no? I assume not. So why have you just said no to yourself? And also like, it's kind of audacious. <laughs> it's kind of audacious when we say no to ourselves, especially about job applications, because if we don't think we're qualified for the job, then we sure as heck are not qualified to be deciding who is or isn't qualified for the job. So that's number one. Like, just think about why you're saying it. Are you trying to protect yourself from something? What are you trying to protect yourself from? Uh, someone saying no. Well, You've just done the very thing that you were trying to protect yourself from. So don't, don't do it. And these are all things that I've been applying. Number two in my list. People say yes a lot. Like, all the time. It is wild. Since I learned this and I started asking for stuff, people just say yes. People actually will just be like, yeah, sure. So one way that this, um, where, when I should have learned this actually, but I didn't apply it to every year of my life back then, this was a, in 2019, I was doing a locum shift as an SHO junior doctor in a hospital that I knew really well, I covered loads, I was very experienced on the wards I was covering. I was wandering the corridors with my colleague, who was the same level as me. I don't know how we discussed it, but it turned out he was getting paid £15 more per hour for the exact same shift that we were doing. So it was a 12 hour shift. He was getting paid £15 more per hour. And I said to him, how did you get that rate? How did you get such a good rate? We're like the same qualification, the same level. And he was like, oh, he just asked. Excuse me, sir, where do you buy your audacity? Like, is it on Amazon? But that was all my fault. Like, this guy had been sent an email just like me saying, hey, can you cover this shift? Blah, blah, blah. And he just said, sure, I'll do it for said amount. Whereas I just said, sure. I just said no to myself, like, oh, I can't ask for more. They'll say no. Oh my goodness, when I tell you, just ask, just ask. People say yes. After that, I started asking more. And the amount of shifts I got offered did not decrease. Because I was always scared, like, oh, what if I, what if I annoy them because I'm asking for more money? But actually, when you think about it, often the person that you ask for more money is often not the person whose pocket it comes from. So, like, they might be a little bit bothered, but they're not like, oh my gosh, she wants to be paid the same as the other guy who was covering the shift. Like, no, just ask. And they would say yes a lot. When they couldn't say yes or when they wanted to say no, they would say no. And guess what? What was the difference? I got the no that I'd been giving myself all of those shifts before. So people say yes 
way more than you think. I've started asking for so much in life. I will just ask. If there's something that I want, I will just ask the person nicely with a smile. And when I tell you, people say yes way more than you think. Ugh, oh, just, just do it, just ask. Next point, one of my rules, I guess this is like a rule within a rule. One of my rules in life is um, I try not to do anything out of fear. You know, I try to live my life out of love rather than fear. So what I don't wanna be doing is making decisions that are fear-based. I want them to always be based on love and passion. When I say no to myself, or when I'm tempted to say no to myself, it's often because I'm scared of something. I'm scared that someone's going to reject me in some way, so I'm doing the rejecting myself, which is dumb. I'm scared of um, failing. I'm scared of what that might mean. Um, if I actually get an official failure, what, that, what does that say about me? It's all fear-based. And for me, and I can do another video on this, but my rule is I do not live out of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and a sound mind. And I do not live this life based out of fear. I live it based on hope and excitement and passion and love. And so I'm not doing anything. When I say no to myself, that's always fear-based. That's always fear-based because it's not my job. Unless the question is literally to me, it is not my job to be the one saying no. So it's almost always fear-based, so that's a no. I cannot, the only thing I'll say no to myself about is about saying no to myself. No, Sarah, you're not allowed to say no to yourself. And then, the last point, the last point which I've really been, this is just a recent thing that I'm deeping, so I'm very much still trying to apply this, but your wants are not bad. My wants, aren't bad like what I'm asking for is not a bad thing I, I'm not going up and asking can I get world domination so I control can control people no I'm asking for a pay rise so I can buy my mum a car I'm asking for um I'm asking for help so that I don't break my back trying to carry something heavy up 11 flights of stairs I'm I'm asking and I'm not asking for bad things. I think often we have, especially like for me as a Christian, when it comes to money, sometimes there can be this belief or fear that like your want is greed or it's um, selfish or it is, you know, unholy and evil in some way. But I think as I'm like growing older and learning, um, I'm like, wait, my wants are really good. Like, get, like, give yourself some credit. Like, the stuff that you want is often from a place of generosity, you know? Maybe you want more money so you can give your kids more and be there for them more. Maybe you want to get more sleep so that you won't snap at your partner every morning because you're overtired and stressed. Like, your wants are good. So when you're asking for something, just know that, like, you don't have to view it as, like, some selfish, terrible thing. Like you want good things, you want good things and that's a good thing. You getting your wants is good for you and for everyone else. Like the happier you are, the more in your purpose you are, the more rested and happy and joyful and grateful you are, the more blessed you are, the more blessed I am. Like one of my favorite quotes to say about myself is that I am blessed to be a blessing. Like every good thing God has given me, I can bless other people with. That's so amazing. Like. Another thing that I've learned as I've been growing up is that that Bible verse which says it's more blessed to give than it is to receive is just so true. I remember the first time taking my parents out for dinner when I'd just been paid my first paycheck. Wasn't even that big, but I could afford to pay for dinner, like a 60 pounds dinner, which to me was like, like for all three of us, it cost about 60 quid. But like for me, that was big bucks. I was like, oh, don't worry, dad, I got this. Don't worry, mum, I got this. When I tell you that felt so good. That felt so good. It felt better than every dinner that my parents had ever bought me. Giving feels amazing. So the more I am blessed, the more I can bless others. For me, knowing that my wants are not evil and not a terrible person and not beating myself up unnecessarily in that way as though I'm, you know, trying to take over the world has really helped me to be more bold in asking for what I want. My wants aren't bad. The stuff I want, uh, they're nice things. They're nice, good things that, in general, don't really hurt people, you know? Anyway, I'm sorry that I've looked such a mess in this whole video. <laughs> I'm just gonna end it there because there's no point in me dragging this out talking just so I can finish my skincare. I'll just finish my skincare. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want a full skincare routine, then let me know because as shiny and greasy as, 
as shiny and greasy as I look right now, my skin has honestly, it's, it's in good shape, like compared to how it was last year, so much better shape. I had so many spots and scars last year, um, but I've changed everything up, changed the products I'm using. So let me know. And this just feels good. <laughs> okay, love you so much. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>